Hello my friends of Hattari Labs, my name is Ol Montoya, have a great day. Uh, we are going to create a tutorial, this tutorial is about the simulated, is how to generate plots that can compare the observed and simulated heads of a flow model with model Muse and Python. Okay, so in this tutorial we, you are going to define this. Uh, that this folder, this is actually, actually do not use flowpy, it just use python ok, in this you are going to find uh, a model, this is a reference model that is called model 01 ok, this is a reference model uh, the scripts and this is the figures that will be that th these are the figures that will be generated by the code okay so first of all we start we go here and on the model we will this is a model muse uh, file so we open the model muse file mm -hmm. okay and this is a regional model over an andean basin that has more than 100 piezometers okay that's that is great okay what else do we have here uh, the purpose of this tutorial is also to show you which are the tools in model muse as well that can that can help you in order to do this comparison there are two uh, if you go to okay first of all I have the results of, of a previous simulation okay Right. So I will run this. Okay. I will. I will run my model. My model. Okay. And I will run my model, and I will show you where the observation heads, the calculated and simulated heads, are located on the list file and then we are going to show you which are the tools or model muse to do this comparison and then we are going to python because in python we are going to do some custom plots as well okay uh, okay so but we have to to wait for this model to run um, takes a while because it's, the model is quite i was thinking in doing a, a tutorial on parallelizing mod flow uh, I haven't sorted out how to do it but by sure it won't be on Windows so it has to be on Linux okay it's okay great has already stopped this is the list file and if you go to the bottom of the list file you can actually see the observed value and the simulated value and the difference okay but these results are located as well here on model all these files were generated when one when you have run the model but and then you have the hop out file the hop out file if you open has as well the simulated and the observer and the observation main name what is great about this is that you only have here the piezometers while in the, on the list file you have everything I mean here on the list file you have the water balance and so on so that is why uh, this tutorial use the hop out file okay great so then okay I will open the hop out in model muse here in here in data visualization here in data visualization we go to head observation results and this will point directly to the hop out file okay and then apply and then these are the values this is the observed this is the simulated and this is the residual this is the legend and this is the graph okay if you see there is a graph here there is also an interactive tool what does it mean that for example i can i can check this and it appears where it's located where the piezometer is located for example, there is another here, okay, is this piezometer, for example, this one, is this piezometer, do you see that instead of being a empty 
a square is a fill square fill fill a square okay as well here or like here like here and this is an interactive tool I found this when I was doing the tutorial and it seems interesting okay okay then you have the legend and then well the lane is not showing you much and then you can have the residuals where the the cool the positive residual where the simulated is too low respect to the observed is are blue and where the simulated is too high are, are in red okay do you see that yeah okay so i think that this is great for the tutorial and now we are going to do this is this is great uh, something that is is kind of because actually we cannot export this and like the the visualization could be improved could be improved okay I think that is great but it could be improved that's why we have done a Jupyter notebook okay so let's start with our Jupyter notebook Jupyter notebook okay we go to documents I strongly recommend you that you place the folder that we were going to provide on your documents okay because uh, then you can you follow the the procedure of the tutorial if you place the the folder in another place uh, may, you might find problems not on the script but on the linking the links in between files okay so here we are create a new Python 3 notebook that will be called tutorial. Okay. Okay. Oops, sorry. What is this is tutorial? Great. So what do we do here? First we import the required libraries. So it is NumPy, Matplotlib and Pandas. Then we set up the model the model folder and model name okay. then we import the observation results and but we import the observation results as a pandas data frame okay if you see this is a pandas data frame then we rename the because I don't like this this column this column name so I rename it and then we I create a new a new uh, column that is called the residual that is the difference in between the observed and the simulated okay right uh, then uh, we filter the piezometers because actually there are some piezometers that are on dry cells and there is no way that we can compare a dry cell to observe head to observe head so that's why we filter those piezometers by in with a uh, filtering in NumPy. Okay. And then we create a, a basic plot, basic scatter plot in matplotlib, uh, where we create an identity line as a dash line. And then we do some customization on the labels and then we apply a color bar. Okay. Do you see this? Run. Okay, and that's it. This is very practical when you want to do the comparison among when you are doing your trial and error and then you are comparing some the influence of certain parameters and so on. This is much practical because uh, this is a procedure where you can just do kernel and run all cells and for every simulation you can create a plot and and then you can store the plot because actually the last the last uh, this is the last uh, the last line is actually what is porting the plot as a gpg so here configures we have the plot and this is and the, you, you can copy paste also but you can as well compare this plot with the result of another plot where you can where you have shifted something or you can 
you have inserted another hypothesis of recharge of hydraulic conductivity, conductance, and so on. Okay. My name is Saul Montoya. We are from Hatari Labs. We are an open source. We are a blog dedicated to the knowledge sharing open source software, uh, basically on groundwater modeling and on spatial analysis. Okay. I hope that you find this very, very useful for your research. Uh, if you like what we do, just give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as well, um, you can share our content and our posts through your social networks. Once again, my name is Olmo Toya. Have a great day and see you in coming tutorials. Bye bye. Bye.